Hey Vibers, welcome back to a dinner for one. Today I'm doing bakers. Um, I'm not sure if it's worldwide, but I know it's like, um, it's like a thing here in California. Um, their food is really good. It's, it tastes like homemade stuff. Homemade food, it's not like, I don't know, that's the best way I can describe it. It tastes like homemade food. Not like, um, it's not like McDonald's where you, you can, I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. Um, anyways, so I got a, I got the teriyaki burger, or teriyaki chicken burger. Oh, nice, and it's on a wheat bun. So, bakers, and then with the teriyaki thing. Let me clean the thing, I think it's dirty the lens and wipe it off a little see if it okay maybe that's a little better I don't know or maybe I didn't do anything but yeah so here's the thing again it's teriyaki chicken chicken teriyaki burger it smells delicious and then um what else did I get I already forgot what I got and then I got um, a side of chips and guacamole. I said chips and guacamole. Probably save that for last. So put that back in the bag. And then instead of regular, like, I got the meal, the chicken teriyaki meal, and instead of just getting regular fries, I got um, chili cheese fries instead. So bakers, and then y'all, oh my gosh, this looks really good and smells really good. So I didn't know you could substitute that for um, regular fries. Mm. Okay, before I go any further, I'm going to say a prayer before I start eating anything. I could just eat a piece of cheese. Okay. Um, what else? So that's the food, and then for a drink, I got a large... So I got a large meal, and it... Um, with a large drink, I got Powerade, the blue one. And then I also saw that they had um, a shake, a seasonal shake, a pumpkin shake. So I got a small pumpkin shake, which I'm excited to try. So I just got off of work, um, so I'm starving, like when, I'm always starving right after work. Oh, and they gave me, um, they said, do you want ketchup? And I said, yeah. And then she asked, do you want spicy ketchup to try it? And I said, hell yeah, so with the spicy also oh, it's habanero spicy ketchup it's like okay it's not focusing okay, I'm gonna try my burger just as is and then I'll try it with the spicy sauce, spicy ketchup okay, here we go Yeah, that's good. Mmm, that's really good. Try it with some spicy ketchup. Mmm. 
This is better with the spicy ketchup. Mmm. Where's my fork? Okay. Try some of this chili cheese fries. I feel like I haven't done um a dinner for one or lunch for one in a while. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. Um, the hair. So, um, we're having like this thing at work. It started last week. It's like basically spirit week, um, like how you did in high school or in school, where every day is themed like, um, with a theme to dress up as for work. And today's theme is, if you can't tell, it's crazy hair day, so I colored my hair permanently. Just kidding, no. It's um, chalk. I looked up, um, so I texted one of my coworkers and I asked her what the theme was for today. And she said, it's crazy hair day. And I was trying to think of, like, I was trying to look around, like, what I have at home to see what I can do with my hair. And I have short hair, so it's, like, it was a lot harder. Like, I feel like if you have longer hair, um, it's a lot easier to come up with something. But since I have short hair, I'm, like, okay. So, like, okay, I'll try to color it, and then I'm, like, I don't have anything to color it with. Um, I looked up online, like, what are some home products that you can use to to color your hair um, temporarily? Oh, it fell on my burger. Um, they said you could use Kool Aid. And some other stuff, like stuff that I didn't have, so. Um, but then I, the more I scroll down, I found that you could use chalk. Well, I'm surprised that I didn't get anything on me. So I had the, those big, I have um, like a whole packet of those big chalks that you draw on, on the sidewalk that haven't been used, so. Cracked it open and used it on my hair. It's really simple. to do. I really love this spicy ketchup. Yum. I love that they do this because I do this at home regularly with um, when I eat ketchup. Like I mix, mix the Tabasco with the ketchup or the Sriracha with the ketchup. This tastes really good. Yo, if y'all go to Baker's, try this. Try the spicy ketchup because it's really good. Mmm. Mmm.
This food is so bomb. Man. Mm. No, am I out of spicy ketchup? Mm. Found another one. Um, but yeah, work has been good. It's just a season seasonal job, and it's um it's a call center. It's very chill, but today, like, they told us, um, I've been working there for, since, um, the second to last week of October, and it's now, like, the last week of November, so I don't know how long that is. Mmm. Cheers. <sighs> yes. <sighs> Love bakers. Um Yes, yeah, so I've been working there for that long. And it's um like the the past weeks that I've been working there, it's been really slow. And so we've been it's a lot of waiting. It's been a lot of waiting waiting around. But today well cause they told us um after Thanksgiving then things like really pick up and it gets really busy like and I didn't believe it until today like I felt like I was gonna die oh you that's dramatic but mm. so it's a call center but I um the department I'm in is deals with chats, live chats, and email on their website. And so, like, when we would when we would finish, um. So we get an email and a chat at the same time. Like, if it's busy, it'll come at the same time. Um, or if it's not, it'll come... You'll get a chat or an email. Um, but yeah, today was busy, so we were doing chat. We had, like, a chat and an email at the same time. Um, so once we would close out of an email, another email would pop up. Close out of a chat, another chat would pop up, like, right after... And it's never been like that the other weeks. <clears throat> Excuse me. Like we would do, we would like finish a chat and then we'll wait like 30 minutes before like the next one. But having it back to back to back, like how it was today, I was dying. Like, But it did make the day go by faster. Because when we're just waiting around, like, it's fun talking to my friends at work. But it's, is like, the day seems longer when we're just waiting around, like, talking to each other. But when it's busy like that, like, it felt like, I don't even know. Like, it felt like I just got in there and then it was time to leave. Mm, this is so good. Mm. Mm. 
Yeah, so today was Crazy Hair Day. Um, tomorrow is Disney Day. I don't have anything Disney. I don't have um, the Mickey ears. So I'm think I looked it up online when I did have um, downtime. Um, and it's actually easy to make your own Mickey ears. Something about stopping by Dollar Tree after this. All you need is um, a headband, like a regular headband that um, people use for their hair. And then you can just um, cut out the shape of the ears out of anything. And I'm thinking of using the... Well, I'm going to go see what material they have. I was thinking of using the, like, the plates. The plastic plates that they have. Because that's a strong material. And then all you have to do is glue it onto the headband. So that's what I'm going to do. I was telling my co-workers. I never participated in Spirit Week when I was in high school. Mm. Not because I thought I was too cool to do it or anything like that. I was just so lazy to even put in effort to even try. Like, even pajama day, like, that's the easiest theme day to dress up as for school. I was even too lazy to do that. <clears throat> so I'm, like, making up for lost time. So when we dressed up, um, we get a ticket and we put our name on it and it gets put in like a raffle um, and you can win like a gift. But I told my coworkers, I don't even care about the gift and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to win a raffle. Um, it's just, for me, it's more of, like, just participating and having fun. And it really is fun, like, I don't know what it is. It makes work a lot more fun. <laughs> mm. Almost done with my... Two sides. So Thanksgiving just passed. I think Thanksgiving was pretty basic, simple, easy, straight to the point. Um, we didn't have a lot of side dishes like we usually do. Um, all done. That was so good. <clears throat> okay, moving on to my guacamole and chips. I'm just gonna dump the chips in my bag. That's a lot easier. And then, ooh, the guacamole looks good. Oh, this reminds me, I got, um, one of my co-workers, my, my friends at work, he gave me some avocado, he gave me two avocados, 
and a persimmon. Which was really random. <laughs> I thought he, he came back from lunch and he's like, do you like avocados? And I was like, uh, yeah. And he's like, um, do you want some? It's like, hell yeah. So give me two avocados. And, um, this tastes fresh. Two avocados and a persimmon. And then he gave the rest of um, whatever he had in his bag um, to another co-worker of ours, which is really nice. I want to know how to make, like, I know this is probably, like, really easy to make, but... I'm scared to try it myself. Hmm. Let's try the shake. So this is the pumpkin shake. Oh my gosh, yes. Savor the flavor. Yes. Like, it tastes like pumpkin pie. But in... A milkshake. It was that milkshake or a smoothie. Forgot what it was. Well, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The other, the other day I got a, I got pulled over by the cops. So I was drinking and driving. Just kidding, no. I got pulled over on our way back from work. I got a carpool with my my sister-in-laws. So my my sister's husband's sisters. We work together at the thing, but we work in different departments. But we have the same schedule, so we carpool to save on gas. And so I was driving this day, and I get pulled over when we're like close to making our exit to come home. I got pulled over for, um, being on my phone while I was driving and driving without a seatbelt on. He took my driver's license and 
and went to the car, to his car, and did like whatever. Issuing the ticket. And he came back and said, um, he's just gonna give me a warning for the phone. And then, um, just a citation for the seatbelt. Which is really nice. I love bakers. And I love their little song. Their little jingle. It goes. Mm, I need a drink first before I try to sing that. It goes. Great food close to home. Come to Baker's. It's cute. I just wish it was closer to home. Like the nearest Baker to me is this one that I just came to. And that's like 10, 15 minute drive. Last one, guys. Mm. Mm. Woo! I'm so satisfied. I was starving. <laughs> I have to go get my oil, oil changed right after work. And I was starving waiting there. I didn't wait there for long, but while I was waiting there, I was starving. So I was like, okay, whatever the closest drive through place is, I'm going there. I'm so hungry. Sip this again. So good. Mmm. Like, you don't know. You need to know. Mmm. Okay, that's it. Bye. Just kidding. No, that's it for this um, dinner for one. I hope y'all are having a great day and an even greater week. I want to tell y'all that I love y'all so much. And I wish you guys nothing but good vibes. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.